Patrick Chopping is absolutely killing it on Instagram. In this video, we'll crack the code and reveal the five essential steps you need to master a powerful Instagram strategy like Patrick's. Get ready to take your presence on Instagram to the next level and watch your followers soar by following these simple steps and get an Instagram strategy like Patrick Toppings. Welcome back to the channel where we help you dominate the online music scene as DJs and producers. I'm your ultimate guide to Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, YouTube, and breaking down the barriers of the industry. Today we have a special topic for you and it's cracking the code of Instagram by looking at Patrick Topping's strategy to see what he does and how he uses the platform. One thing we can say about Patrick Topping is he's got a social media team. So actually what we're doing is looking at what his social media team is advising him to help him really, really push and dominate Instagram. In this video, I'm gonna give you five essential tips to elevate your Instagram game and try to look at what he's doing and then try and give you ways for you to use a similar strategy. So let's get started. Step number one, Instagram Reels. I know I'm banging on about Reels again. And on this channel, we speak about Instagram Reels a lot, but they're so powerful these days. And one thing Patrick Topping does is he nails Instagram Reels, really gets them right. And I love what he does on them. Firstly, there's loads of music on his Reels. He's always showing off music from a, either from a DJ point of view, playing music, playing at gigs whether this is showing off his own tracks, tracks on the label, or just music he's into. Secondly, his face is on the Reels all the time, speaking to the camera, and using the Reels platform that really helps you find new fans and new audience. He speaks and tells fun stories, which I know is not for everyone, but if you can get a head around it, then you can definitely use the platform to grow. This is definitely achievable for you as aspiring new artists and DJs. Whether you're playing smaller gigs or whether you're just playing on live streams, you can cut content from your live streams or your YouTube mix series, or if you're playing actual gigs, this is all achievable for you. You might not be playing to the crowds that Patrick's playing to, and if you are, congrats, but you could still be doing some stuff. Step number two, Instagram carousels. One thing I do love about what Patrick's doing on Instagram carousels is he's mixing up his media. He will have pictures and videos all in one carousel. And if you didn't check my video on Instagram carousels recently, check this out because it's gonna tell you how to break down and use Instagram carousels to, to maximize your reach. I absolutely love the mix of videos and images. It does something weird with a brain where you swipe and watch a video, then you'll swipe and watch an image. And it just, it's just a nice play when you're watching and swiping through. And it keeps you on app, which means you get loads of extra reach. The one thing a good thing about Instagram carousels is they're really good for nurturing your current fan base. He'll use them to talk to his audience about his upcoming gigs. He'll then show flyers. He'll then show videos of him playing at previous shows and it really makes a nice flow. He'll do a 24 hour carousel where he'll start, he'll talk about the gig, he'll show you heading to the gig, at the gig, and then videos from the gig, and then photos maybe in the mix as well. And it's a really nice play. And again, all this is achievable, whether you have gigs or not, this could be you talking about your live stream, could be clips from the live stream, could be photos of you setting up the studio or being in the studio, as long as it tells the story over the carousel. Don't put anything in the carousel that's just doesn't add value to that carousel either. Step number three is community. The constant mix of videos and pictures on his content always has some community in there. It will always show people at his gigs. It will always show maybe the, the security dancing to his tracks. And this is so vital because as a fan, you're gonna always go back to see if you were at one of his gigs to see if you're in his content, to see if you're in there so you can tag yourself and say, hey, I'm, I'm in there. And it's just that nice being part of that community. There's even shots and content where he goes into the crowd and be part of the crowd. And again, this him being involved, and it's a two-way thing, this is so lovely to see, and it's great content. It's wholesome, and I love watching it. Step number four, he uses stories really well. Again, he'll talk to his audience. He'll ask his audience questions in his stories, and he'll get people to DM. I haven't seen him using polls, but what he'll do is maybe the 24-hour story hack. And if you don't know what this is, basically, come off stories for 24 hours, let them clear, and then come back on and as your first post, ask a question, ask your audience something and get them to DM the reply to you. By them DMing you the reply, that does a couple of things. Firstly, the DMs will shows engagement in the story, which means the story gets loads of reach. The second thing is it starts a conversation between you and the person. And because you're doing that, that person's then gonna see all your future content you're being social on the network. Funny that, being a social network, but he uses the stories really well. He'll use it to talk to his audience and be part of that audience conversation, which I, again, I absolutely love. Step five, filming. He makes really good, quick content. It looks raw, it looks unedited, it looks really nice. We know that he films on a DSLR, or he has a camera person filming on a DSLR, but it's not over-processed, it's not over-published. It really, really looks like it's just from a phone. 
He'll do content from his phone where he's talking to camera on the fly, which is really, again, really nice, really quick. The clips that he's doing when they are filmed, they're just super clean, super nice. He'll definitely do the kind of jump cuts. And we've noticed that it's one, two, three jump when it comes to the videos. There'll be three seconds of a video, three seconds, and then maybe a six second, but we've definitely seen from the filming point of view, there's, there's ideas behind the content. You can see that when he's filming at 24 hours, they've thought out a plan of what's going on with that content. We wanna get a shot from here, we wanna get a shot from there. So when you're making your content, and you can definitely do this, if you're going on a 24 hours, think about the shots you're gonna want. If it's gonna be a 30 second reel over 24 hours, at my gig, what are the six to seven things you're maybe gonna put in that con piece of content? And then make sure you get them and nail them. Because at the end of the day, that piece of content's gonna get the next gig, and the next gig. There was definitely a trend recently when it comes to filming where it was like really over polished. And that was definitely a while back where that flipped. And it, whether it's from a TikTok thing, whether it's from a real thing, that people just like watching quicker content. If you are gonna film you DJing, and it's all just focused on you, try and put little things on screen just to kind of keep the eye interested. A simple wait for it, if your drop's coming a little bit later in the video, that can help with the kind of keep people interested and keep the brain interested as you're watching it. And then as a cheeky bonus, we love all the stuff he's doing on other platforms. He's absolutely killing on YouTube. He's putting YouTube videos up regularly from gigs, which again, this could be recorded from your home or recorded from your live streams. He's really using Discord. We love our Discord community. If you've not part of ours, join it. The link is in the description. He has his own Discord tri community, his trick cord, where he's in there answering back and forth community people. You can see that all of his content and all of the stuff he's doing is all about being part of that community and building a community around him because that's going to scale up everything he does. Congratulations, Patrick and his team. We love you. Are you doing any of these already? Which ones are you doing? Which DJs or producers should I do next? Can you give me my top three in the comments? I'd love to know ideas for who sh I should do next in these social media breakdowns. Do you wanna grow your Instagram? Well, then you should check out this video where I go from zero to a thousand fans and how you should be doing it in 2023. Before you click over there, if you liked this video and enjoyed this social media breakdown of Patrick Topping's Instagram content, then please give it a like. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be jumping out content all the time that you don't wanna miss. Let's jump over to this video and go and see how you can grow your Instagram from zero to a thousand followers. I'll see you over there. Cheers.